it just goes with the territory. I didn't think it was that radical until I, people were like, why do you keep changing your art? Because I'm alive. But I remember as a kid playing in the yard and my brother, I have a twin brother, like he would play soldier and I would be like priest. Then I want to be an artist and I want to be a doctor and a teacher. So I feel like I became all of them. I sort of wandered from political science into theology and I, I kept wanting to do more. Somehow I became enraptured with the image. I remember the first time coming back in college and showing my mom I was going to do a slideshow what I, I made in art school in Boston. And I just remember this, the silence. Mm, that's what our son does. My mantra is images matter. Christianity in some ways gets a little bit distorted by the emphasis on the word. It was also the image. And we left that behind. And images, I think, have a sort of a silent healing power. I pivoted towards theology. Then I sort of pivoted back to embrace art and bring them together. And I've been lost ever since. <laughs> If you accept faith, you have to accept theological reflection. Theological reflection can take forms in, again, the word, in writing, or in images. I just love those sacred images and to sort of have a dialogue, break bread with them. Good art needs a lot of things. Uh, it needs good science, it needs imagination, good theology. Being an artist is mimicking, you know, sort of the idea of being God, of, of creation, of creating. You know, the church is not, I've said this many times, it's not a museum. It's a living worship space. And we should let life into the church. We, are, we have a space and time, you know, a limited time here and uh, our space. So th th those are primitives we have to deal with all the time. By the way, that's what I love about painting because you have these perimeters set. You know, this canvas, this size, and you're not gonna go beyond it. If there's no perimeters, your freedom becomes sort of uh, impossible to implement. Sometimes unknowing is knowledge in itself. The mystery, the unknowing is the evidence of more. Contemplating art is like, like contemplating God. We need to sort of nurture and expand our interior selves. Like we spend a lot of time at the gym, or I guess I try. But what about that interior space? And unfortunately, many people walking around, you know, with a, a great school idea of who or what God is. The role of image is just to get people comfortable to accept that they might not know. I do feel like I'm living like a monk, but there's a, there's a quiet ritual in art making. Uh, it's very unglamorous. You know, I know Instagram makes it into a, you know, incredible lifestyle, but it's very ordinary. If you really want to know Alphonse, you know, look at one of my paintings. The, the words, they work, but I also fumble with them. Paintings have this magical element. It's almost sacramental, it changes. My best attempts to bring closure to one of my paintings is with the title on the back. And then, you know, the painting hasn't ripened. So I change it and then also change the title. So the back becomes this sort of cave drawings of titles and X's, and, which in some ways are an artwork in itself, all the scribbling. So it's, it's, it's evidence I, I probably need therapy. <laughs> well, there's, there's a lot of references in scripture about honeycombs. For me, I, I guess I like the immortality image of it. That honeycomb, there's always something left. Art is part of nature. Like us, it's, it's, we're all disposable. And that aging is, is uh, you know, quite beautiful to witness. If you look up closely at the piece behind me, uh, what, what I'm doing with these pieces, I'm creating a space within a space. It's this you know, wire-shaped hive or, or person. I did this incision and I opened it up and put the painting in. That incision has like this heart shape. This context was that to heighten your gaze and to embrace the painting, I provided you an interior space within a space to protect it. I think art, it is expansive. Uh, it does bring understanding. 
but that understanding might not be the understanding you're looking for. It might be just, might be just more questions, which is an understanding. Again, a not knowing. To live is to change, and to be perfect is to change also. The other day, I dropped off a small painting the woman purchased, and she told me what she thinks it meant. And she asked me, well, what is the meaning? I said, I think you just gave it to me. When they say it, I'm like, oh my God, I never saw that. Again, it's a sense of being in community with others to bring this sort of meaning to fruition. I think by doing what I do in my art, I'm in some way supporting these, these communities of transcendence. The, the church exhibits I have done, people who usually don't go to sacred spaces were going. And I think that's just beginning to build this sort of trust. You know, but there is this undertow of mystery that pulls us. I think that undertow will always be present and it will pull people.